Hey, how's it going everyone? KBeast over here. I wanted to make this simple setup guide for air guys. This is going to be for the duck station emulator on PC. So if you have experience with that emulator, then great. But for those who don't know, I want to try to help you guys out from scratch so you could get set up. Not only will you be able to play air guys offline or locally, but you could play with your friends online or join the discord to get some random matchmaking. Currently the best way to play Ur guys online is through Duck Station, which is great because it has rollback netcode. Uh, matchmaking right now is currently best through discord. Hopefully we'll get something better in the future, but for now you just meet up with somebody in the discord channel. And with that said, let's start talking about getting set up. Uh, should only take a few minutes. Probably the longest part of this is actually finding the correct files online but hopefully we can make it short and sweet god bless the ring so the first thing you're gonna need is the duck station emulator now if you're just gonna play locally uh, you could get any version of duck station but if you want to play online you're gonna need the net play build which I'll have a link in the description. Just go ahead and click on that GitHub link and download the zip file, unzip it, and you'll have the emulator. And you can go ahead and use that one and make sure whoever you're playing online with also has the same build. After that, you're gonna need the ROM or ISO for Air Guys. I can't exactly tell you where to get it, but you should probably know. You could just Google stuff and find out. You're also gonna need the specific BIOS files. Same thing, I can't really tell you where they are, but I'm sure people in the Discord could help you out. And of course, I'll put a link to that channel as well. Basically, you could get everything in the air guys discord so why not join it so once you got all those files that you need you want to unzip your duck station emulator folder and it's going to look like this you're looking for the dot exe obviously so just go ahead open up this icon and if you're opening up a fresh copy of the emulator it's going to look like this you're not going to have any games loaded up so we're gonna have to add the directories for both your games and your BIOS. You could set the directories right in the beginning menu or you could go to the general tab on top, which is under the settings tab and game list. I believe you're gonna need the game unzipped. So I just have Air Guys in a specific folder that has the files inside the .bin and .q. It's gonna ask you to scan, just click yes. From here, you should at least have the game in your list now. Alternatively, you could just open up the specific game file by itself under system and start file, but that's uh, when you got the BIOS set up already. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves and just set up the directory for the BIOS. Under the BIOS tab in the duck station settings, you're gonna see the individual the individual regions for each uh, BIOS file. For this one, we're only gonna need the NTSC, but if you have the other ones, you probably wanna detect those as well. I have mine in the default location of Duck Station in Documents. Of course, you could go ahead and put yours wherever, but if you want it in the default folder, just put your BIOS files in the Documents folder and uh, make sure they're set. The regions conveniently have a little auto detect option, but just make sure that you set the right directory and refresh the list so that the BIOS will read properly. From here, you could test your BIOS if they work. So you could click on system and start BIOS if you want to hear that beautiful sound. There it is. It's not required, but it's just a test to make sure your BIOS is working. Now from here, I'd probably close my emulator and start up everything again just to see if everything's still there. And we can go ahead and try to see if the game boots. Now mine says for a safe state, because I already have a safe state loaded up from playing previously. But um, if you want to load it up fresh, just go ahead and start it and see if the game runs. Just going to let the intro rock a bit. But once you see that the game is obviously running, we could go ahead and set our controls. You could do all that good stuff conveniently while the game is still running. Settings and controllers. So you can go ahead and map everything to whatever peripheral you're using. And just close it from there whenever you're done. So as far as playing the game offline, you should be set from here. But um, 
optionally, or maybe not optionally, you would want to get the save file that unlocks all the characters. I mean, you can unlock them manually if you want, but if you're just trying to get a game online, uh, you definitely want to have the save file. So here's the page for Air Guys save files on GameFAQs. I personally downloaded the DT Jam. So let's go ahead and choose that one. Now it's a little tricky because we're going to save a GME file. And with that, in order to import into DuckStation, we're gonna need a little program called Memcard Rex. Of course, everything's gonna have a link in the description. So once you download the save file and the program, you're gonna open up Memcard Rex and it's gonna look like this. Now, all you have to do is import the save file by clicking File Open and choosing your GME file that you downloaded from GameFAQs. And once you got that going on, you'll see Air Guys in the save file list. All you have to do now is make a new save file. Just click a File Save As and make sure that you save the new file as a .mcd um, you could choose different things I mean it has like all, a whole bunch of listings down there but just make sure that even after you save the file um, if it's not changed to an mcd you could do that manually afterwards but just make sure the final product is a .mcd all right, so I'm back over here on the main page of DuckStation, and I'm going to right click Air Guys, and we're going to go to Edit Memory Cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pretend I have no memory card in here because this is probably what you'll see when you have nothing. So I'm just going to open up and locate my MCD that I just made, and you should see Air Guys loaded in there already. And once you load up the game, uh, fresh boot, you'll probably have to go to the notions of manually loading like old school PlayStation style. You just make sure, skip all this madness, and this is going to be the first menu that you really get to. We're going to hear that annoying sound, memory card, load data. And boom, we should have everything loaded. I'm going to go ahead and start up the game just to test. Jesus Christ, that freaking noise. There it goes. All right, we're just going to go into practice mode real quick just to see. Make sure we have a new character. So Zach is, of course, secret character Valentine or um, Vincent. Yuffie, Claire, and Koji, those are the last two you're going to lock. So, yep, our save file worked. So once you know you have the save file loaded up, something I would highly recommend you do is go to the main menu and um, close the game or close the emulator and it'll ask you to save a state. So what you could do is save it at this portion. So every time you load the game or, you know, the next time that you load the game, you will be at this portion part of the screen like everything loaded up you're at the main menu so you could choose arcade versus practice what have you you won't have to go through any of that intro madness ever again so i would highly recommend going to the main menu and saving the state now this is how it's going to look if i wanted to open up duck station from scratch just a fresh boot and wanting to load up air guys with my safe state here's my air guys and then resume state load state and boom, I'm already back to where I was. So, amazing. So you got the game set up, you got the controller set, you got the save file with all the characters. Now, if you fast forwarded to this part, it's to set up the net play. Um, that's fairly simple too. Um, if you've ever played anything on Dolphin Emulator, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. Uh, traversal server. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough for that as both the um, person setting up and the uh, and the person connecting to the host. So something pretty awesome about DuckStation Emulator is that you could pretty much connect to a host 
any time, even if the game's already running. Um, here I'm gonna be the host, and usually in the past I've just been in training mode or arcade mode or something, and I've already created a server for somebody to jump into. Um, basically I just put a code online for somebody to join, so what I'm doing here is like, I'm just sitting in training mode right now just cause. Um, but if you go to net play and create a session, you could go ahead and set up uh, all this madness. Uh, you don't really need to change your name or whatever, but um, you guys could discuss input delay afterwards. Um, usually I have it set to like one or two, but whoever you're connecting to, uh, make sure that they have it set to the same. But the most important thing is you're going to have traversal server um, clicked on here, and it's basically going to give you a code that you give to the person you're playing online. Here it is and they're going to connect to that code. Now, if I were somebody trying to connect to someone, I hit join sir, uh, join session, traversal mode, and all I gotta do is put in this code. Um, if you're creating a game or creating a session, you have to have the game already started, so they'll jump in whenever. But if you're joining a session, uh, you don't have to have any game loaded. You could just um, click net play and connect and you should uh, just jump into their game. So like, for instance, if I were joining this game right now, I would just um, jump in as second player right away. Uh, the host is going to see that that person connected. And um, yeah, you guys could just go ahead, like say for instance, I, in the past, I'm OK, they're connected. I'm just going to go to versus mode and start playing with them. But that's pretty much it. Freaking sound. <laughs> yeah, the host code, you click OK and you wait for all that madness to go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully I covered everything um, as far as just getting set up and playing online. But if there's any questions, hopefully I could answer them. Um, I want to go ahead and make more videos later on to actually talk about gameplay specifics and stuff like that. Just as far as like jumping into the game and how to play the game. Uh, introductions to how this game actually works because competitively it's actually pretty fun or just messing around online but hopefully there could be a growing scene because this game is actually pretty fun so catch you guys next time oh and never forget god bless the ring